A two-year-old child is brought with complaints of delayed development and seizure disorder. Birth history was normal. Developmental history showed the child attained rolling over at nine months. Fine motor, she was reaching out for objects now. Personal social, the child is laughing out aloud. And language, she says, mama, dada only now. Now, this is important. How are we going to do all this? How do we assess this developmental history? Let us see. On examination, child was active and afebrile. Dental examination normal. Weight of 9 kgs, length of 80 centimeters with a head circumference of 36 centimeters. General examination, head to toe examination normal. Systemic examination of central nervous system showed that the child was hypotonic. There was exaggerated reflexes, extensive plantar at 2 years of age. Other systems were within normal limits. How would you calculate the developmental age of this child? Next, how would you assess the developmental age of this child? So, how do we analyze this child and how to calculate the developmental age and interpret? Okay. Now, here we have this two-year-old child who has global developmental delay because at two years, a child should be running and playing. At two years, a child should be able to imitate vertical horizontal strokes. A two-year child should be able to say two-word sentences and by uh, in the personal social domain, a two-year-old child should be able to play alone in the house. This child is not able to do any of those things. So, this child is having global developmental delay as seizure disorder. Birth history was normal. So, diagnosis here clinically on examination, we found that the child is having hypotonia with exaggerated reflexes and extensive plantar. Hence, this is a case of hypotonic cerebral palsy with epilepsy. Now, how do we calculate the developmental age of this child? There are two ways of doing it. First way is through history. Second is by examination. So, first let us do by history. By history, in younger infants and children, we have to calculate using what the child is doing now. That is, the last attained milestone. Last attained milestone in each domain. In each domain, the last attained milestone corresponded with which age. Now, in this child, the last attained milestone was rolling over. Rolling over corresponds to a developmental age of 6 months. A normal child at 6 months of age will roll over. This child at 2 year of age, child is still only rolling over. So, by developmental age, the child is only 6 months old in gross motor. Fine motor, the child has just learned to reach out for objects. So, the child is only 4 to 5 months of age developmentally in the fine motor domain. At two years, he should be scribbling. This child is doing what a four-month-old child is doing. So, the developmental age is four months. In the personal social child is laughing out aloud. This is all same thing between five to six months of age. Before, at two years of age, in the personal social domain, child should be playing. So, this is also at five to six months. And in the language domain, child is saying few words and monosyllabic speech. So, the language is also at 6 months. Hence, this is how you calculate the developmental age of the child in each of the domains. Chronologically, the child is 2 years old, chronological age. Whereas, the developmental age is 5 to 6 months as per history. Now, if you want to calculate developmental quotient in gross motor, it will be 6 months divided by chronological age, 2 years. 2 years is how many months? 24 months into 100. Similarly, here it will be 5 months divided by 24 into 100, like that. So, net if you say 6 months, it will be 6 divided by 24 into 100 equal to 25 percent. 25 percent is far less than 70 percent. So, hence the child is global developmental delay. Now, this is for the smaller children and infants. What do you do for the older children? There is no history like if a child comes who is 8 years old, you cannot ask for history when the child rolled over to the mother 8 years back. So, there how do you assess developmental assessment by history? There the scholastic performance, the school performance of the child is very very important, one of the best methods to assess the development in older children. When you assess school performance, what are the things you are assessing? You are assessing academics. Here you will assess language, you will assess calculation. Second, you will assess sports and extracurricular activities. And third, you will assess peer and teacher relationships. These are the three things you will assess in scholastic performance. How the child is studying, how the child performing in sports and extracurricular activities, 
And lastly, how is a child's relationship with his peers, friends, seniors, teachers, as well as whoever the child interacts with in school. This is how you will do a developmental assessment by history in an older child.